Before recording this video, I have actually gone through the skills shortage list that is published by the British government every year. I went through the report that was published in 2024 because that was the latest release that was available. I went through what are the skills that are in critical demand, that are in elevated demand and that are not in demand. After that, I analyzed the placement reports that are publicly available for most of the universities. I put them into chat GPT and you know, took its help is as well to just analyze those reports. I have gone through the LinkedIn profiles of the recent graduates of these courses from reputable universities. Mind me reputable universities. I don't recommend you going to a tier three university. You know that if you're new to the channel, you should know that that if you want to go to a tier three university, close the video. This channel is not for you. And last, I've actually used some reasoning and critical thinking skills and also had a word with some of the students who are already studying these courses at different places to just, you know, take their feedback as well. And in this video, I want to talk about what are some of the top master's degrees to pursue in 2026 that have a 90% plus employability rate for international students in the UK. And when I say 90% employability rate, it means that 90% of the students who pursued this program were able to find a good job within six months of finishing their master's degree. So let us begin with the video. And before I begin this video, I want to mention that I support Movember, which is basically a little initiative in which men do not groom themselves, men grow a beard, men grow a mustache to spread awareness about men's mental health, prostate health and other health issues related to men. Particularly, I want to highlight a little bit about mental health. So men like myself, generally we die younger than women that is like what the statistic says and it happens one of the major reasons behind that is that there is not enough space for men to actually talk about what is going on in their head mostly men are fighting battles in their own head men are fighting battles in their own heart and the space for them to you know talk to other people about it is limited but let's put an end to this, right? If you are someone who is worried, if you are someone who is facing issues, health issues, please prioritize them. Everything else can come later. But as a man, the most important thing that you have, that I have is our health. Let us take care of it and let us make sure that we have good health till the last day of our life. Thank you so much. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so let us begin with the list. And the first one in the list is programs related to healthcare. I know it was not unexpected, right? Because UK has aging population. When people age, they get health issues. When they get health issues, they need more healthcare workers. And are there enough healthcare workers in the UK? Oh, absolutely. The answer is no. And if I tell you, if you need to see a doctor or a specialist in the UK for any particular issue, the ones who are living in the UK, they know how long we have to wait. And they very well know how difficult it is to get access of the public healthcare system here in the UK. So programs like MSc in Nursing, MSc Occupational Therapy, MSc Social Work, Masters in Social Work, masters in occupational therapy all the programs that lead you to getting a clinical designation in the uk these programs have more than 90 percent employability rate across the uk england scotland wales northern ireland anywhere you go whichever university you go to does not matter if you are doing a program related to healthcare but leading to a clinical designation brilliant choice i can tell you that it is not going to be a problem second is mba but MBA from a top 11 university. Why do I say top 11? Because there are 11 universities from the UK that appear in the Financial Times top 100 MBAs. If you are doing your MBA from one of these schools, the chances are that you will not be struggling to find a job after your master's. I think one of the reasons behind this is that the people who are doing an MBA from one of these top 11 schools these people already have three to five years of work experience. So they already have some skills that they can bring on the table, right? So after their MBA, which is very much valued here in the British job market, those people are able to crack interviews conveniently. And that also leads to them, you know, cracking middle management to senior management roles, which eventually leads them to the pathways of sponsorship as well. 
So the second option is MBA, but from a top university. MBA from a tier two, tier three university, any random university is a waste of time, waste of money. Hath jude mat karna. If you are a fresher and coming for an MBA to a tier two, tier three university, cancel your visa, cancel your admission, cancel everything. You should not do that. There are other options that you should consider. The third option that I want to talk about today is related to masters in energy energy transition electrical engineering sustainability etc guys what powers everything if you are watching this video right now you are consuming electricity where is electricity coming from this is where the world's biggest transition is happening right now except for artificial intelligence this is where the biggest transition is happening the whole world and especially the developed economies are moving from traditional sources of energy that is oil and gas and you know coal etc to renewable and sustainable forms of energy there are massive investments being put into the development of these and i mean the time at which i am recording this video although i am sitting in 5 aqi i know that people who are in northern part of india they are breathing 500 to 800 aqi of air right so how long can this continue if it continues like this right so it is very important for the whole world to now start transitioning towards sustainable and renewable forms of energy and big 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 opportunity in this space if you are someone who can pivot into it right now mechanical engineers electrical engineers electronics engineers if you have interest into this space Trust me, the number of opportunities for you across the globe, not just in the UK, are immense. The whole European economy is right now focusing on moving from traditional sources of energy to renewable sources of energy. Great, great, great place to be in. Fourth is going to be master's degrees in upcoming technologies. But I have a catch here. What I have seen here is... If you are doing a master's in cybersecurity or let's say data science or artificial intelligence or quantum computing, the upcoming technologies with a good skill set. And how can you have good skill set if you have like a few years of work experience or if you don't have few years of work experience, you have good knowledge of programming. You have at least seven on 10 skill level in terms of technology and you are aware of what's happening in the tech ecosystem, tech space. Then, yes, this is a great program to consider again. Last but not the least is going to be two programs, actually two programs. Both of them lead to different employment outcomes. The first one is a master's in accounting. It is also known as master's in accounting and finance. And the second program would be MSc finance. If you are someone who wants to get into accounting and let's say if you wanted to become a CA or you know you like accounting, this is a very safe and a very stable space. Because after you do your master's in accounting and finance in the UK, you also get exemptions for some of the exams in ACCA. And once you get those exemptions, then becoming an ACCA is fairly easy. Once you become an ACCA UK, you can also practice in ACCA Ireland. And to practice in some other European countries, you don't have to take any additional exams. You just have to you know, just complete your registration. So yes, accounting and finance is a brilliant option to consider as well if you put in some effort towards your ACC as well. And the second option in this category is MSc Finance. It's a quantitative degree. It's a brilliant program. It equips you to launch yourself in wealth management, portfolio management. And if you're doing it from a very prestigious school, then also into investment banking, also into private equity, venture capital. And I can tell you one thing, guys, no matter what happens to the world, the finance bros always make money, always. When the stock market is down, they are making money by shorting. When the stock market is going up, they are making money by value investing. The world of finance has endless money. And when nothing else is happening, they are making money through insurance. So if you have interest in the world of finance, corporate finance, private equity, venture capital, portfolio management, wealth management, then an MSc finance degree would be a great option to consider. And all these options, all these five options that I've talked about, these will launch you for global careers. I know UK sponsorship scene is, we know it's very bad right now and it's very hard to find sponsored jobs. So worst case scenario, even if you don't find a sponsored job, if you have one of these degrees, your opportunities will not just be limited to the UK. Your opportunities will be limited to the whole Western world. 
there is a lot of work happening in sustainability and renewability everywhere in the world there is a lot of demand for healthcare professionals everywhere in the world there is a lot of demand for finance graduates with good skills everywhere in the world and ai data science etc you know and i know there is huge demand at peak right now for ai engineers i don't see a lot of ai engineers graduating from top universities that do not have a job within 6 months so all in all thank you very much for watching this video if you are someone who resonates with my thought process and you want me to be your counselor book a consultation let us meet all the counselings are conducted by me directly let me understand what your requirements are let me recommend some programs and universities to you based on your requirements and then let me help you in getting into your dream school with a good scholarship and finally landing at your dream destination also if you are not able to find a slot on the link that i have shared then here's my number drop me a whatsapp message myself or one of my team members will reply back to you and we will schedule a time that works for me and works for you thank you so much it was lovely having you in this video although you are not live with me but if you watch this video till the end i love you you are a serious candidate you are a genuine candidate and i hope you all the best i wish you all the best thank you